welcome to Weird, Gross, and Beautiful, a discussion about animals that I think are weird, gross, beautiful, or all three today. That's a mole. First and foremost, moles are not blind. They do have eyes and they can see, but they can't see very well. And also their ears. Their ears are internal. So how do they get around? They have a bare area on their nose that is covered in tiny little pimples that helps them detect the movement and the scents of other animals around them. Moles are polydactyly. This means that they have five little fingers, well, five big fingers, and little tiny thumbs on the sides. So they have six fingers on one hand. They're real big and like always turned outwards so that they can go dig, 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 dig. Moles eat their body weight in food every day. They eat things like worms and, you know, insects and stuff that you would expect a mole to eat. Moles are able to breathe underground because they have the ability to breathe in carbon dioxide so they can re-breathe their already expired air. And that's because they have a special hemoglobin protein in their little blood cells and stuff. Lots of people tend to think of moles as pests, which like, they're so cute and little. <laughs> they're adorable. How could you possibly think that? But actually they are really good for the environment. So even if, you know, they're up your lawn and stuff like that. All of their tunneling is really good for soil aeration and drainage. And also they eat all kinds of little pests. So small mamas will typically um, have somewhere from two to six babies. For about a month after they've been born, then they are independent. That's real quick. I mean, I guess it has to be because moles only live to be about four years old. Moles are solitary animals. They live all by themselves, all by their lonesomes. They're just like, okay, mom, God, you just don't understand me. Star-nosed moles have a set of tentacles around their nose, 22 to be exact, and, and it's, it's really sensitive to touch and, and electrical impulses, and it helps them find their, you know, their prey and stuff, and also it helps keep dirt and stuff from getting inside of their little nose. Star-nosed moles are really, really very good swimmers. And in the winter, they will go swimming uh, under ice to go get their food because the ground is probably frozen. In fact, sometimes they will dive for like 30 seconds. Damn! Thank you so much for watching Weird, Gross, and Beautiful. My name is Katie Wayne, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter at Katie Wayne and tweet me what animal you would like me to cover. This week's animal was suggested by Mole News. Do you think he likes moles, you guys? Thank you so much for the suggestion, sweetheart. Mwah. And please, if you much feel like it, subscribe to the channel because, you know, content is a cool thing. And also, there are videos right here that you can see. I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.